Thanks for staying with us. Let's bring you some sports action now. It's time to take out the waving flag for the team you believe will lift uh, this year's Cup of Pride. This is our World Cup special right here on NDTV Hindu. Well, in the West Indies Island clash today, Kieran Pollard inspired West Indies with a career best 94 and a brilliant catch to beat Ireland by 44 runs. Pollard's highest one day international score had uh, helped his team to 275 all out in 50 overs alongside a maiden ODI century from opener David Smith, who made 107. Ireland was all out for 231 in its chase, despite half centuries by Ed Joyce and Gary Wilson. With this win, West Indies are almost assured of a place in the quarterfinals. Well, in the uh, other Group B World Cup match in Chittagong, electing to field, Bangladesh bundled out uh, England for a modest 225. In reply, Bangladesh lost three early wickets and are now struggling at 125 for three after 26 overs. In fact, uh, earlier on, Jonathan Trott and Ian Morgan's twins half century saved England the blushes before they were bowled out for 225. Now, while all of that action takes place on the pitch, we sent out uh, our sports reporter Natasha Dureswami armed with NDTV Hindu's rapid fire challenge. The volleys were aimed at uh, squash star Saurav Goshal today, but did he really match up to his smashers or did he duck for the real quiz? Find out for yourself. Taking our T20 test today is Saurav Goshal. All right, so what do you think is your dream final uh, for this World Cup? India Pakistan for sure. Why is that? So India Pakistan is a big, the most electric atmosphere ever, and India should win. All right, your favorite World Cup memory? Uh, I think it has to be Sachin in '96, uh, where he lofted chain one over the stands for a six. He was just unbelievable in that World Cup. Would you ever trade um, a squash international tournament really to go watch a cricket game? No, I don't think I'd do that. I just love my squash too much. Okay. Also, um, who do you think is the best destructive, the most destructive batsman really in the Indian squad? Has to be even in the Sehwag. He's an absolute joke. Who would you pick from the Indian squad really to play a game of squash with you? Sachin, I totally admire him and for what he's done over the last 20 years, it's just unbelievable. Are you impressed with his performance so far? I mean, he fired against England and that's when we needed him and I hope he fires in the big ones to come. What's the craziest thing that you'd ever do for cricket? I think if India win the World Cup, uh, whichever city I'm in, I'll take every girl I know out for dinner. So it's like mutual benef mutually beneficial. Okay, what comes to your mind when I say the following? Um, cheerleaders. Really good. <laughs> um, women umpires. Glamour question on the field. Okay. Women commentators. Five star entertainment. Second of April. Dhoni lifting the World Cup. Cricket. In, in, uh, religion in India. Squash ball. It's my life, isn't it? <laughs> Cricket ball. Hurts oh, like hell when you get hit by it in winter. Interesting. Okay. Um, a cricket match. If it's in India, unbelievable atmosphere. Okay. Indian fans? The craziest in the world. Okay. Now, who do you think is, uh, would be the best captain after Dhoni for this Indian side? Had to go with either Virat Kohli or Suresh Raina because they're the next breed. Do you think um, cricket really is a hassle to deal with considering you're a sports person here? No, I love the game. I used to play when I was young and uh, it's always good when the Indian team does well. So I wish them all the best for this World Cup. India's biggest rival? Australia has done pretty well this event and obviously they won the last two World Cups. So, last three World Cups. So, um, we need to beat them for sure. Are the Proteas chokers? I think it's harsh to call them chokers, but I wouldn't mind if they choke against us next match. Well, shifting focus to the silver screens for now. On an average, at least 120 films are produced by Hollywood in a year. Latest trends show there is a preference for uh, good scripts and well-directed films instead of just action by the audience. Here's what our entertainment desk sent us today. <laughs> In recent years, many low-budget films have been resounding success at the box office. Strong scripts are believed to be a hit with the audience. Gimmicks like this don't seem to be selling. 
Filmmaker Vetri Maran, who delivered back-to-back hits with Danush, welcomes the latest trend, and even actors now seem to prefer films with good scripts. Innekke vandu paathinga na starting from Rajinikanth sir till a newcomer. Ellarume vandu scripts base pani dhan panno or or director or combo or or nalla combination or nalla script. Andha director or nalla script. Ippri panna no ellarume feel panra na. Rajini sir vandu avare enna nadi chalam paagrathu kariya arun dalum. He wants to do something different. Vera panna no abli na asa porar avare. But audience also are not ready to watch the same old thing. directors could be rejected by fans if they don't have the right mix of entertainment in chennai with lalit jude divya kumar for ndtv hindu and with that those are the headlines now moses robinson joins you next with the news and updates in tamil do keep watching